Imagine you're a cat. Like, a terrible cat. The worst fairy in the world has ever seen. A true piece of, you know. One day a random guy put you inside a box and closed it right in front of your senior's eyes. Apparently you share your new home with just one thing. A bomb that has a 50-50 chance of going boom boom with you. This is basically the way these scientists Erwin Schrödinger used to explain one of the milestones of quantum mechanics. Superposition, which is the ability of a quantum system to be in multiple states at the same time until it is measured. I bet you're now even more confused, single-celled dummies. So let's go back to the cat. For this experiment, you will need a cat, your hands, a steel chamber if you're rich, instead an explosion-proof carton box should be fine, a Geiger counter, which is a device to detect the radiation, something to possibly unleave the cat. The original experiment used a vial of poisonous gases, but I think a bomb would be more theatrical. A radioactive atom, and last but not least, plenty of imagination. Because this is purely a thought experiment. Nevertheless, I still recommend all the children do not try this at home. Especially if you play Roblox, which is a hint of silliness. Let's dive into the process. Put the mammal and the other stuff inside the box. In this case, the bomb will detonate only in the case the Giger counter detects something from the radioactive atom. According to quantum physics, after one hour, the radioactive atom will be in a state where it is both decayed and not decayed. Yep. This is an example of superposition. In simple terms, the only way to determine what happened to the atom is by measuring it. Before doing that, it's still in a state of superposition. Back to the box, let's say the atom did not decay after one hour. The cat is fine, and now it is probably planning to end your life in the worst way possible. Whereas in the opposite scenario, the atom decayed and a four-legged friend went bye-bye. Essentially, this experiment shows us the concept of microscopic superposition depicted via a microscopic system, an animal. Indeed, unless we open the box after 60 minutes, it's impossible to say whether the cat is still alive or not. It seems like it should be both dead and okay at the same time. With the box closed, the cat is another example wow. of superposition. I think it's time to make this scenario a bit more interesting. Let's say the cat is gone, and for some reason you decide to arrange the experiment again, but this time, tables are turned. It's your turn to bend yourself inside a small box. You still have a 50% chance of surviving, and you actually survive. Congrats, destiny was not against you. Now you can go back to your meaningless and boring life, probably spending your parents' money on some e-girls or pool streamers. <laughs> But let's make the situation more intriguing. Why don't you put yourself in the box once again? Nobody cares about you, so that should be okay. <laughs> wow, you made it alive again. God must love you. You should become a doctor or helping ending the production of Rec 5 or something like that. Fate has plans for you. Dumb examples aside, I think you got the point. Imagine to repeat this process over and over because of your recklessness. Theoretically, there should be an extremely low chance that you survive every single time you replicate the loop, leading to what we could call quantum immortality. It sounds so cool. Basically, it means that ignoring the aging problem and your natural needs, immortality could exist. However, there would be a darker other side of the coin. Do you remember superposition? According to its definition, the person or whatever there is inside the box should be both alive and gone at the same time, until the case is opened. In terms of quantum immortality, at the end of the experiment, reality should split in two parallel universes. One in which you're still okay, and the other one where you're now a ghost-type Pokemon roaming in search of kids? What the phalanx was Game Freak smoking while writing Pocket Eccentries? Where did I... oh yeah, parallel realities. The hypothetical existence of immortality 
means the existence of a timeline where you survive infinite times, suggesting the logical conclusion that in order to survive infinite times the experiment, you have generated an infinite amount of parallel worlds where you did not survive. This theory is known as quantum suicide. Just remember that quantum immortality and suicide represent topics that I would consider more philosophical rather than 100% scientific, hence I would avoid saying immortality and parallel timelines do exist. Indeed, alongside the Schrodinger cat experiment, they are all imaginary circumstances with the purpose of mind-blowing your little heads. At least for now. わたしの名は